about a big milestone for Prussia. And David is gonna... Hi there, David West. So yesterday I listened, uh, I needed to come prepared to this meeting. I listened to the recent People of Pathology podcast with David West. And there they was talking about the huge, huge milestone. I see people around that I know and I wave at them. Please ignore. <laughs> but the huge milestone is the FDA clearance. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We're David. so excited. We just received our 510K clearance for our concentric APDX solution, which we have on. Which is here. Let's let's have a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> this is him, the concentric APDX that is cleared. FDA yeah. cleared, 510K clearance. Long time in the works. How uh, many years? Geez, we started this journey probably two and a half, three years ago. But really, mm -hmm. this took a solid year of product and regulatory here. work for us and many millions of dollars that was uh, you know as you can imagine uh, a lot of, a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of blood sweat and tears from the team around here who helped make that happen so context to this and uh, during the pandemic which started in 2020 CMS the Center for Medicare and uh, Medicaid I think mm -hmm. uh, says okay, just do pathology with whatever tools you have. And um, companies that had good tools that were not cleared were allowed to use them. But then fast forward, last year in May, they say we're ending this like high life for non-cleared products. <laughs> so only those who are actually serious and who has been working on them uh, can stay. You need to be cleared or you need to get out. And Prosha, got their clearance so uh, it can be used for primary diagnosis right that's right yeah any like um ai or more like hype stuff that yeah, you guys yeah. have <laughs> look this is the foundation for for all of that right and you know from a product perspective what we want to be is an open platform that lets our customers diagnostic laboratories um, as well as life sciences companies to you know, power their workflows using digital pathology and to, you know, put on top of those workflows AI applications that can, you know, bring efficiency and quality and deliver new insights that are that are otherwise you know, not mm -hmm. possible with images or glass alone. So this is just the start. We got a lot of exciting things on the roadmap, but it gives us a you know solid foundation to you know, layer on top of this platform, a lot of exciting innovation, not just from us, but from our partners as well. And we mm -hmm. really believe in the value of an open ecosystem, and we think there's going to be hundreds of applications. In fact, there are already hundreds of AI applications. Are you already partnering with someone? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we have, in fact, you can see right here mm -hmm. on Concentric, we've brought in Ibex's solutions. We work really closely with Ibex, with Visiofarm, with MindPeak, and with many other you know, exciting image analysis so like and AI all companies. So serious image analysis players. This yeah. is amazing. So, um, yeah, the first step is the digital microscope, and then you can go from there. Yeah. The digital microscope is the tool that the pathologist uses. So, um, and this is what the CMS allowed to use when people were signing uh, out from home. So that's like the first piece. Yep. And then yep. you can plug in all the other things that... Uh, make digital pathology so powerful. So this yeah. is amazing.